Transport Phenomena in Biosystem, Module 2, Conservation and Momentum, Segment 5, Lamina Rent to Boolean Flow. With me, Yusuf from Institute Technology Bandung. Previously, we have discussed about fluid kinematics, conservation relations, fluid statics, and constitutive relations. In this segment, we will discuss about laminar and turbulent flow. In general, fluid motion undergoes a transition in its behavior at higher flow rates. Consider the steady flow of a Newtonian fluid in a cylindrical tube as shown in the left figure. A dye is injected continuously into the fluid. For low flow rates, the dye traces a straight line path. The width of the dye broadens due to molecular diffusion as the dye moves farther downstream. Since this is a steady flow, the dye path line traces a fluid streamline. Flow in which the fluid travels in a steady time independent manner at each location is known as lamina flow. Fluid motion is said to occur in this case in concentric cylinders around the center line. Now consider the case in which the flow rate increases. At first, the dye pattern is the same, but at some flow rate, depending on the radius of the cylinder and the properties of the fluid, the fluid pattern undergoes a transition. The motion of the dye in the radial direction becomes more and more random. This movement is much faster than diffusion. As the flow rate increases further, however, the intermittent random and chaotic behaviors of the dyes becomes more common until the behavior is completely chaotic as shown in the right figure. Dye is dispersed throughout the entire radius of the tube. Such fluid flow is called as turbulent. In a steady laminar flow, the velocity at a given location does not change with time. A significant feature of turbulent flow is that the velocity at a given location changes with time even when the overall flow is steady as shown in the figure. However, the time average velocity at a given location is a well-defined quantity as shown by the dashed line in the figure. Often the velocity in turbulent flow is characterized as the sum of a time average component and a fluctuating component with a zero time average. Turbulence affects many transport phenomena. Turbulence affects the transport of molecules often producing more rapid mixing than what is observed under laminar flow conditions. Turbulent stresses also can damage particle molecules and cells. Reynolds number the type of flow where the laminar or turbulent can be determined by computing the ratio of initial to viscous forces known as the Reynolds number, as shown in the equation. Initial forces arise from the convective acceleration of fluid and are proportional to rho v squared with units of forces per unit area. Viscous force per unit area can be represented by the viscous shear stress which for a Newtonian fluid is proportional to mu v per l. For flow in cylindrical tubes, flow is always lamina for Reynolds number less than 2100. Typically, turbulent flow begins around a Reynolds number of 4000 and is sensitive to local roughness on the inner walls of the cylinder. The intermediate region between lamina and turbulent flow is known as transitional flow. In this region, flow is unstable and exhibits intermittent turbulence. Beside roughness, the onset of turbulence is influenced by local changes in geometry, such as constrictions and bands. For the next segment, we will discuss about application of momentum balances. Until then, I am Yusuf from Institute Technology Bandung.